Twelve Tales Conquer 64 is one of those games that everybody wants in high demand. That includes me because I want this game. So today I'll be talking about the unreleased game Twelve Tales Conquer 64. Back when it was first in development after Conquer had been a playable character in Diddy Kong Racing, Rareware wanted to spread the word about this new IP as it was being developed. Screenshots of the game have been shown in Nintendo Power and other gaming magazines such as Game Informer or IGN. The game was going to be another family friendly platformer for the N64 with Rareware using every color in the clerk palette. The story was going to be about a young squirrel named Conker the Squirrel and his girlfriend Barry. And I guess there was going to be some adventure or stop some villain I guess, I don't know. From what can be seen, it was going to be another kid-friendly platformer developed by Rareware and published by Nintendo. Some interesting gameplay aspects are the fact that you get to play as Barry. She has a DINOSAUR with her as a bodyguard. Conker would have to swing to tree branches to get to places faster and use a slingshot slash his own tail as an attack, as well as getting on all fours to get to places much faster. There was even a number of areas shown that have never been seen before. Thank you, YouTube! Not much of the story is known other than the fact that you'd play as two characters and it would be an ambitious game for its time. Its time being 1999 and that was before the PS2 or Xbox came out and that was just when the Dreamcast was coming out so of course it was going to be ambitious for its time. At E3 1999 behind closed doors, critics bashed the beta preview by saying, Yet another cute platformer. Jerks. Critics insulted the game, calling it a Banjo Kazooie clone, as 12 Tales was supposed to be released within the holiday rush 1999. After that, the game slowly disappeared from the spotlight. There were speculations that the game had been quietly cancelled. But in early 2000, Rare later clarified that the game was still being worked on by a full team and with the same level of dedication as when it was first announced. Then development of one of the best and most controversial games of all time was in development. Before there was Grand Theft Auto 3 and Halo Combat Evolved, there was Conker's Bad Fur Day. The creator of Conker, Chris Seaver, had three options to make his IP different from Banjo-Kazooie. 1. Change the genre of the game. 2. Change the overall tone of the game. Or 3. Drop the project altogether. Well, I'm sure we all know which option he chose. He stayed with making the game a platformer, but changed the tone of the platformer and made it a rated M game. With rated R movie parodies, cursing, blood, guns, and perverted references, and also voice acting, the only known beta of Conker's Bad Fur Day was a promotional video Rareware released to certain subscribers of Nintendo Power. The only time of day Conker's Bad Fur Day commercials would air is late at night. Also, advertisements in adult magazines such as Playboy were also arranged. The game was released in March 2001 exclusively for the N64, and the rest is history. While I love Conker's Bad Fur Day in all its perverted glory, I would have also liked to have played 12 Tales Conquer 64, but in a way I have played Conquer 64 as some game aspects and areas stayed in Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Even some music pieces stayed the same. Areas I mentioned before were reimagined, but still used in Conquer's Bad Fur Day such as the western themed area had possibly been changed into the Barn Boys area, and many other reimagined areas upon that. Let me show a few examples of what areas were changed, what bosses were changed, and what music piece stayed in Conker's Bad Fur Day.
In other words, everyone has technically played 12 Tales Conquer 64, just the more mature version of it. But that doesn't mean I still don't want this game on Xbox Live Arcade or an HD version on the Nintendo 3DS, but that's just another of the many games that I want that are unreleased. I'm the Master Quest, thanks for watching. Not all squirrels are born equal. Conquer's bad fur day. This is more like it. An appreciative audience at last. Somebody's pleased to see me.